ghilla so he says falahu ismu as-sadiq wa sifat al-adu that those who see you with him they claim that he is your friend but by right he is your enemy his action is the action of the enemy my brothers and the sisters also due to that explanation of imam ali what is the difference between a jealous one and a someone who is a hypocrite yesterday it happened that i was teaching brothers closer to 56 brothers and they asked me specifically to emphasize about the topic of al hasan the jealous so i asked them this question after the end of the introduction and i said and i'm asking you prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam he have cast 10 category of the people in the drinking point of uliwa the one who plant the grapes the one who carry it the one who sell it the one who sits some with someone who is on the on the same mile on the same table then i told them that how about if it come that there's a brother here who is a muslim performing solar fasting but he have shakti he have rilla he have hasad but there's this one who is drunk at one drunkard but has nothing to do with you he does not have any rilla whom if the kid come to push whom can you be with out of two between the drunkard one and the someone who have hasad all the brothers they raised up their hand and says no i rather be with the drunkard one than being with the someone who have a maru niya to who is just smiling with you but day and night what he does is asking him he's trying to come up with any form of taking you down that is how bad is it brothers and sisters it may appear as if the topic of the jealous it is not the current issue somehow somewhere what is the current issue now the current issue is what happened in bahrain what happened in syria that's all but my brothers and sisters let me tell you something it is one million percent a current matter why because you have a brother you have a sister who go to the outsider who go to the criminal and tell them no i'm telling you my brother you know in this corner this corner is where he put money you know the inside job what cause of the inside job nothing else except al hasan and that is what happened in our everyday life my brothers and sisters what how current issue the matter of hasan is you see these things we say, say about xenophobia, 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 but our brothers and sisters from the same place of outside, they buy other people to kill them, to kill each other, to show us if it's a South African killing people. What is the cause of it? There's nothing else except al hasad These things happen every day. You know what I'm talking about. So the matter of this which we are talking about, the hasad it is the current and the current and the current issue. And what cause, somehow, somewhere, where you see what is happening all over the world? My brothers and sisters, you must remember that each and every action which you see, it have the tree, it is like a tree. I want you to draw the tree in your mind, and the tree have the root, and the tree have the branch, and the tree have the leaves. So what you see, the roots of it is nothing else except hazard. But it just need you and I and you sit down and you start to check what happened exactly in Darfur. When a person who claimed to be the Quran read another human being, what is that? Check it and go to the you go down, you will go that all the evil which you see, which is happening right now, the cause of it is nothing else except Hassan. So if we don't go deeper into it, and we come up when Allah says, Wanafsin wa ma sawaha. Allah he swear about the soul and the way he perfected it. 
How Allah perfected the soul. He says, فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقَوَاهَا He gave it ilham, he gave it inspiration, that in yourself, you are able to be able to know what is the wrong and what is good. But out of all the fujur, there is no fujur above jealous. My brothers and sisters, we become jealous to others. And you think it is good. You wish him to lose what Allah has given him, even if you don't want it. But whom are you fighting? The danger of Hassan is you are entering in the qala wal qadr of ilah. It is Allah's fate, is Allah's decree that this brother must be rich. And it's Allah's fate and Allah's decree that you are not supposed to be rich in that moment. Now when you feel pain, when you try day and night to take him down, you are not fighting this brother. You are by right fighting Allah directly. That is khatal al-hasad. So when you are busy feeling jealous to your own fellow human being, by right you are not fighting him. By right you are fighting Allah. But who are you to fight Allah? Who are we to fight Allah? And what is the repercussion after that? That is one side of the story. Another danger out of it, you must remember in Tawheed, in the, when we talk about Tawheed, when we learn about oneness of Allah, the main core of the Tawheed, there is a door, we call it a shukrul Munayim, to be appreciated with the one who gave you favor. But when we talk about a shukrul munaim, meaning a shukrul ilahi, meaning to be grateful to Allah and Allah for what He has given us. But al hasid is someone who is jealous. Unfortunately, he is not grateful towards Allah. The question is how? Remember, my brothers, remember my brothers and sisters. You must know wherever in the world you see the human being settled. It can be Malawi, it can be Uganda, it can be South Africa, anywhere in the world you could think. In that place, Allah Ta'ala, He installed the resources, those resources which will be able to cover the people who stay in that place. Either Europe, anywhere in the earth, that is the wisdom of Allah Ta'ala, wherever you see human being. Now, I want you to come down a little bit. Similar apply. Whomever Allah Ta'ala brought into existence, He gave, He installed in him something in Arabic called a Tanmiyat al a uniqueness, a talent. And through that talent is what can make you to live the legacy on this earth. How are they linked with the al hasad Now, when you see, is Allah, Allah who are Raza, is Allah who provider. For the mere fact that he brought you into existence, he gave you something, that thing is unique and it's for only you because of who al -Fani. Don't forget, he's rich. Now, instead of you, Try day and night to do what your fellow man be. Because remember what Quran tell us. Remember, a brother like you and I, a Muslim brother, he maybe he was Arab, I believe. He opened the Quran and he read Surah Al Rahman. And he read this verse Ya Mashar al Jinni wal Ins. In istatatum and can fudu min aqlari samawat wal arm. Fan fudu, la dan fudu na illa bisultan. He says, Allah is telling us to move on the air. And he looked at the bay, how it moved. And he manufactured the airplane. Allah has installed that in him. Now, wherever you fly from here to Umrah, the legacy to go back to that guy who used his uniqueness. This guy, he was not looking for the brother so and so what Allah had given him. He was looking for what Allah 
given him and he developed it. He activated it and he reached where it's supposed to be. Now, unfortunately, when Allah he says, Kan man zakaha, sure, he has succeeded. The one who activates himself, who tries to purify himself from looking out of what Allah gave others, and he looked for his own potential. But unfortunately, he has failed. Who is always his nose, so and so now got this one, so and so now is like this. What happened? Do you see? That's what Allah is telling us. So, my brothers and my sisters, let me tell you you must remember the mere fact that Allah brought you into existence. You know what? You are great. Our biggest stunning blow is that we think the great is the, is the not think is a shaitan making you to think a great is the president. When you see the president, that one is a great. No. Allah has installed something from you very important. The way he installed in your own brother and he manufactured and he came up with the idea of the robot. That when we drive with a robot, that is the installation which Allah gave this person. Now, unfortunately, instead of us to go deep in within ourselves to see what Allah made me to do, because you have to live here in legacy. Remember, on the day of the judgment, fortunately, when we'll be coming out, out of our grave, running towards Mahsha, when we are in the Mahsha, Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what he says? He says, لا تزال قدم عبد يوم القيامة حتى يسأل عن أربعة. Before any question, before sword, before fasting, before anything, you are going to be questioned for fee. Out of it, عن عمره فيما أفناه وعن علمه فيما فعله وعن ماله من أين اكتسبه وفيما أنفقه وعن 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 according to how he are. The first thing is, how did you spend your life? The second one, how did you use that intellect which I put in you? What will be the answer? No, I was more complaining and asking your intelligence, Allah, why did you give this person whom I think is the law? <laughs> because when you are busy, bitter inside, because of what Allah gave the fellow Adam, fellow Adam man being, I said and I repeat to you, you are not fighting that particular human being. You are fighting Allah and Allah. And what is a shukur? I repeat to you a little bit, I left it behind. The shukur it means, does not mean to say, well, you get a plate of food and you say, Alhamdulillah. That's a lip service. Shukur is beyond that. The definition of shukur is that it is to use what Allah has given you. I will give you the simple example, for instance. If you give me the plate of food, and I say, Jazakallah, shukran, brother. When you turn and I throw away that food deliberately, what comes to you? What are we going to say? This person is knelt, grateful. I see that this person needs food. I gave him food, but he threw it out. But if you give him the food and you see that he's eating it well, what happened? You will see that this person has used what I've given him well, and you will need to increase in what you have given him. So now, also, when you are not looking in within yourself to find out what you can live on this earth, because you are going to question what have you done on this earth. What happened? You will be saying, no, but Allah, you know very well, you give us nothing. You gave so and so a lot of money, but you gave us nothing. We had nothing. Then the question is, Alam naj'alla mu'aynay, wa lisana wa shakatayn, wa hadayna mu'ajdayn. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something about Hassan. The same Hassan which we are looking day and night, it makes you to feel again bad when a brother or a sister becoming richer and richer. But let me tell you what I have found out in within myself. 
is subjected to error, but it is right until you are proven otherwise. You know what? Just know it's Allah who says, Inna Allah yafsutu rizqa liman yasha wa yahdir. It's Allah who gave whom he wants, and it's the one also who waits not to give whom he wants. Inna wa habiru bima ta'awna basir, we ever will. Now, on my findings, I found it out across the religion, across the faith, that all the activity are handled by those who have. And the example is this mosque. Those who have, Allah, when Allah he gave, his, Allah is wisdom. Allah does not have wisdom. Allah is wisdom. Allah is the source of wisdom. He gives based on the wisdom. Who al Hakim? He based on that. And you find out, you see, there are a lot of brothers. There are a lot of sisters we meet across the continent. And this person is engineer. You ask him, how did you become engineer? No, no, no. There were a certain rich man who sponsored me. There's a certain rich man who helped me in this and this. There's a certain rich man who did this and this. Churches built by rich people. Now, when you are busy, becoming bitter because of this person whom Allah gave, what are you trying to do? You are disturbing the process of Allah. And as a result, you will pay the, the, the high price. And when you fail to become a shaker, to use what Allah has given you, Allah is fighting with you. You can't fight with Allah. Just Allah take us out of Rahmah. And when he takes us out of Rahmah, what is going to happen? That is what happened in Syria right now. Brothers and sisters, that is what happened in Bahrain right now. Let me tell you something. I once, a couple of times, went to Syria. When I'm here, there were a time when I'm here, driving, just putting only this topic. A black like me, he will stop me. And he wants to remove my hand to check, I am a South Africa or not. And when he hear my stop, he will need my paper. Where is your paper? Where is your paper? Is that so? In Syria, the same day you go, in the hotel where you were, is when they take out all your passport, you give it, you leave it there and say, let us keep your passport. You will travel to homes, to all those places they are talking about, you will never meet anyone asking you the paper. Even the grave of Habib, remember, is in the Syria. Down there, there used to be a very big battalion of the army, but they look, ah, no, let them go. Is that their visitor? Let them go. No, any question. So they were living in a harmony somehow, somewhere. But what reached what it reached, we don't know. And since we only have what media tell us, you get it? Only what you have is the media. So we need a person who can be exactly from there to tell us exactly what is happening. But whatever you're going to talk, it is analyzed on the media, and the media only tell us what you want us to hear and what you want us to see. Are we together? Now, if we are clean, if we can clean our mind, then our brothers, when they don't have a place to stay, you will be able to accommodate them. Because what is from there, it can also be here. It can be anywhere. <coughs> so the key here is, let us not be jealous to each other. Let us wish each other okay. Let, don't be afraid of your brother to tell him, Allah has given me this and this. He say, hey, what's going to happen to this brother if I tell him? Let us clean our mind. Let us clean our heart. Rijalun yuhibbuna ayyadatahharu wallahu yuhibbul mutafahirin. There are those who are trying their level best to be purified within themselves and Allah ta'ala loves those who are purified themselves. The cleanness is the cleanness of the heart. When you don't have rilla, when you don't have hasad, when you don't have khida, because hasad it produces the two major faculties. One is called rilla and one is called what? al khida. The good deceiver, a brother or sister is deceiving you. You think you have a brother, but by right you have the enemy. Allahumma 
على الأصحاب رسول الله الغياني وعلى أئمتنا والصلاة والحمد لله رب العالمين Islamic services has handed over items such as blankets, clothes, shoes, and other items to less fortunate communities and people in and around the city of Pretoria to comfort them against the biting winter chills as part of our operation with the warmth. The team of the Institute for Islamic Services, as well as those less fortunate who received the many items, express much gratitude to the Muslim community and all those involved who made a warmer winter possible. The following places and communities benefited from our Operation Winter Warm for 2013. IIS adult literacy classes at IIS head office, homeless shelter in Marabastad, Majid al-Rahman, Marabastad, street children, street children in and around Lodium, IIS daycare center in Lodium, IIS daycare center in Lotus Gardens, IIS madrasa children in Lodium, Tsuanopide special care center in Atrishwal, Lodium primary school, Lodium Heights Primary School, Andrew Anthony Primary School, Jacaranda Primary School, Institute for Islamic Services, Daily Feeding Scheme at Head Office, Lodium, Hillside Primary School, Lodium, uh, Majid Al Malik, Block GG, Social Gover, Lagar School, Simon Becker in Soter Street, Edward Paturi High School, Salisbury, Majid Al Razik, Jasper, IIS Welfare Cases in and, in and around Lodium, Itireland Daycare Center, Morning Star Daycare Center, Lodium, Moy Plus Informal Settlement, Majid Al Ansar White Blocks, Madrasa Rahmania in Lotus Gardens, Westport Informal Settlement, and Baden Bele Primary School in Adrishman. We thank the community for their support. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our efforts and make things easy and get us all to the street. Bar. Thank you. 